And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Sejuani Swain. To kick off this stream today. It's a deck that I enjoy playing and I just I just really like playing different Swain decks. And I like these Freljord cards cards as well. So this is a, a fun deck to play, in my opinion. We got these two new champions, Sejuani and Swain. They work pretty well together. Of course, with Swain, you need to be doing non-combat damage to level it up. And with Sejuani, you want to be doing damage to the enemy Nexus to level it up. We have a few key changes from the last time that we played this deck and uh, ones that we talked about at the end. Um, we talked about how it's kind of difficult to figure out exactly what to do with all these three mana cards. We did not have Noxion Fervor last time, though, and I felt like Noxion Fervor is just a card that we really should be playing. So we got two of them in here over a Guillotine and a Might. I, like, Might is a card that a lot of the times it won't really do very much, but it's, it's just amazing when you have a leveled up Swain and you can use Might to make sure that your Swain does the Nexus damage to your opponent and then you just do three to everything they got that's just such a great combo but i don't think that means you need to be playing two might so we're we're going down to one might um to be able to fit another noxion fervor in here also the top end i had three leviathans which i do love leviathan but there probably are some diminishing returns between three of them so i'm gonna go two and i'm gonna go one tusk grader i have been impressed by tusk grader uh playing it in different decks and of course this one this one will help us draw sejuani because that double the power and health of the allies of your deck is pretty nice but it is just really nice with sejuani because sejuani has overwhelm so you play your tusk rider <clears throat> and you draw a 10 12 sejuani and that's pretty awesome so we're gonna go with the first tusk rider over the third leviathan and then also um i'm fitting in a blades edge in here something really cheap just to be a cheap removal spell against like burn decks and like the real aggro decks like that we can use it to kill one drops but then we can also use this as direct damage to our opponent which could be important to turn on plunder for like wolf rider right like sometimes we'll just need to be able to plunder get that mana gem to help us ramp up to these eight drops or sometimes you uh you need to just be able to do damage to the enemy nexus and um that's important for leveling up Sejuani. That's important whenever you have a leveled up Sejuani. And it's important whenever you have a leveled up or like to uh, level up Swain. Um, and like this one, whenever you deal non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus, stun the strongest back row enemy. So sometimes you need to stun that strongest back row enemy. So just get one Blades Edge in here. I think that could be a, a very useful card at one mana, but not something uh, that you need to, um, like probably not something we need to play like three Blades Edges for. All right, let's go have some fun. Let's go play some Sejuani Swain. And we're going to go play five games over in Masters with it. Here we go. Right. We're at 259 to start the day. Mike's maybe a little too close to me. Sorry about that. All right, game level looks good. Um, Zed Lucians. They're going to be nice and aggressive. I'm going to be mulliganing the Sejuani. We're, we're keeping these two. It's like Noxion Fervor. Do I want to keep Noxion Fervor or not? Um, I think Noxion Fervor could just take out like Zed or Lucian that we like need to take out. I don't know. Maybe I should be keeping it. Okay. I don't mind it. We sent it back and drew another. That's not bad. Omen Hawk. Let's go. Fight or die. Four two Ruthless Raider. That's what I'm talking about. You're covered. Eh. Gross. Got a little blade's edge. Take out this tracker. This little tracker keeper. I am the blade in the darkness. All right, I think we have to kill Zed. I think I use Noxion Fervor and kill this Zed. Zed's just kind of too good. 
Like, yes, I two for one to myself, but I think that's a two for one that's well worth it. to ramp we get Sejuani next turn that's obviously unfortunate as far as like trying to kill that thing but oh well does non-combat damage roll over like if he only has two health and you deal three does it does the two count or is it three um oh, okay so yeah so it's it's for swain it's three yeah so like we dealt three damage even though it had two health as far as swain is concerned No, that's okay. That's a good question. It's a good question. So yeah, even if if you would do like, you know, seven damage and they only have two toughness, it'd still count as a seven. All right, so we're trading three for two. That's really three for three. Yeah, we really traded three for three there. Because both of our tricks and our um, Ruthless Raider traded for their two cards and their one trick. Alright, so which one are we frostbiten? Basically, the thing that I'm worried about with frostbiting Senna is that then they play Lucian and then I'll feel bad. Let's force them to have Lucian this turn, though. Alright, let's feel do this. No fear, show no mercy. Words to die by! Words to die by. I've got your back. Lame. They're just taking nine. They're probably gonna block, right? No closer. Strike's not bad. I kind of feel like that last card, maybe maybe it's like Rally, uh, and they're they're dead. I don't know. I'm just kind of admitting defeat with this attack. So that's what it feels like.
Overwhelm's pretty sweet. Overwhelm's pretty sweet. Okay, not not game yet. That's not game yet. So if I, I mean, I could transfusion do one to the Wolf Rider, pump this up to, then we'd have five toughness, so it wouldn't die, and then would be eight damage, so it would kill them. It's kind of risky because if they have something else that kills my Sejuani. Then I just, you know, I'm killing my wolf rider. So like it's risky. I think it's worth it. Bastards. I guess if they play something else, I can also noxion fervor and kill that thing and only do three. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It's the exact same thing. I just want to cast my card. We What do you mean transfusion the wolf, the noxion fervor in response? What do you What do you want that to look like? Transfusion is burst speed. You can't I can't noxion fervor the wolf. If that's what you mean. Like noxion fervor is fast speed. Yeah, it's been great. Sorry, yeah. It's been great. Really loving this game. Twisted Fate Gangplank. Maybe just mulligan everything and kind of look for some other cards. I'm going to keep the Elixir of Iron. Elixir of Iron's really nice. Yep. But we do need to find some threats. Yeah, you struggle with, like, card draw, I guess? Is that what you mean when you, you struggle for cards? Okay, yeah. Yeah, like that's that's what we'd be able, be able to do. Let the flames take you. Yeah, we would have been able to have the Noxion Fervor available if they did try to kill the Sejuani. Let's see, Elixir of Iron's so good. Dealt damage to their nexus. Dance in the flames. Um, they're gonna let this thing die. Yeah. Hope this works. Backfired. It's a good uh, wolf rider again. Now we get Sejuani next turn again. That's rough. So they got four cards from me. One of them cost one less. Three of them cost two less. That's that's really rough. And then 
then yeah, I'm you know I'm just drawing it at champions because they took all of my non-champions. Great sequence of turns for them. Yeah, six mana. You get four four of stats. Steal four cards. Lower their cost by two. One mana noxion fervors. So it'd be real impressive if we can still win this game. First big mission. Leave no survivors. Don't kill my Zedwani. That's not cool. Run. Hey, only love. Good morning. Yeah. Got lots of pump spells to play next turn. We're gonna have eight, this nine, ten, eleven mana. Nine. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Sweet. So we can play all these. Oh, no, 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 no! I was counting that and I didn't really pay attention to what they were playing and I passed the turn and they had the Ember Maiden. I need to pump up this toughness and I could have. Ugh. Registered right, you know, like it. they played that. I just clicked OK as I was talking and it registered right after I clicked OK. Ugh, that's disappointing. Stand and fight! Smoke. Yeah, it's disappointing. You can still go for the win. Would have been a lot easier to win though if I would have had you know the other large overwhelm wolf also, but all good. Sejuani's still great. And we're 2-0. Oh. <laughs> we triggered a lot of plunder cards for my opponent. Hey, Acid Swift. Welcome. Welcome. First time watching the stream, we... Uh, we like to play lots of different decks here on stream. I play I play four different decks a day and upload them over to YouTube. We play five games for each one in Masters rank. So we get get a good wide variety of games in. Now we're facing Karma Heimerdinger. Culling Strike's great against Heimerdinger. But I think I'd still mulligan the removal spells. Because we'll likely be able to find more removal spells. But maybe not, who knows? This land is ours. This land is our land. The winter's flaw. Yeah, Dr. Grindel. Um, I also just I take deck ideas as well, uh, if you have a deck idea, but then also with channel points. 
you know, if you check out like the channel point rewards, you can you can do donation decks through channel points um, as well. Attack. You cannot escape. All right. Damage happens. I got ways to find me mushroom. Isn't the best blades edge matchup? This is such a beating. Timer dinger. Obviously, if they have like a twin disciplines, I'm basically dead if they do really bad for me I want I'm trying to do this um, there you go dr. Grindel thanks for the bits yeah keep working towards that channel points uh, of course they have twin disciplines wanted to do this way so we do trigger plunder again and wolf rider again Fourteen. I'd love to draw one of my eight mana cards. Playing this pre-combat. So they got that card from the Flash of Brilliance, because it's not a card they'd have normally in the deck. This thing has Overwhelm. The winter's claw strikes. I wish I would have played this pre-combat and just gotten four, four damage in. <laughs> that would have been great. Blade's Edge on one of these things. Smell that bark, fear. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> if they have protection, I lose anyway. But our deck didn't didn't do too bad. It kind of took. It took my opponent having an amazing, like basically like a perfect timer in her hand, plus me not having any champions or eight mana cards. Find champions. It took it took that for us to lose. That is the perfect 
I'm reading her hand. I mean... Perfect. I mean, obviously, they could have had three Flash of Brilliance. That would have, you know, but they didn't have that. But they had Flash of Brilliance. They had Twin Disciplines to protect. Um, yeah. What your, was your Callista deck look like? I do like Callista. I think Callista is really strong. Callista Rekindler combo is amazing. I was kind of planning on playing Callista Karma today, but then decided to go Karma Maokai instead. That's a that's a deck I've never played before, and so just decided to go with that one. All right, so we're playing V Demacia. Hey, new bloco. So we're going to save the two mana here for Trans Fusion. Obviously, we don't have anything to play anyway, but it's, it just kind of fits the curve well that we get to save that mana. Um, Destruction feeds my fire. So they'll have the Tracker challenge the 3-2 and the Fiora challenge the 1-1. One, one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, giving their things tough. Okay. We'll go this route. That worked out. Smell that bark here. They trade three for three, but that's a good three for three trade for us. I've got your back. I trade here, do two damage to them, trigger said oh Sejuani's Sedju already triggered for this turn. Uh, maybe not. Blood of the snow. Yeah, we'll do that. No closer. Good morning, BW. Good morning. Hey! BW with that Twitch Prime sub. That is awesome. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. Alright, I'll pass. They, they probably are just not gonna... Yeah, they're gonna attack. Alright, our first sub of the day. Said Sejuani Swain's the one deck that you insta-lose to on the ladder. What, what are you playing? What do you play in the field that you insta lose to Fear the power. Do not see. Sejuani Swain? Alright, there's your list. Alright, cool. I will save it. In... Pain is nothing. Wish I had one more mana and I could culling strike that thing. So good.
You, you're at 3 out of 5. You're at 8 out of 12. Oh, okay, so that's, that's, okay, so yeah, you sent me the karma, um, the karma Callista deck earlier, okay. So yeah, you're still liking that, that list, just like that? I was looking at that, I was, I was thinking about changing a few things about it. Not, not much, of course, but just a, I don't, I don't remember what, exactly, at this point. My Swain wasn't leveled up already. Sorry, I was kind of looking over there. I thought the Swain was leveled up because I thought we did four damage, but we only did three damage with our Ravenous Flock because the other thing was tough, so I didn't actually have the Swain leveled up. Um... How are they gonna have four like are they gonna have four pump damage? Probably not, but I don't I don't really wanna risk it. But they have four pump damage to kill my Leviathan, which I don't I don't like that. But I guess it's better for them to kill my Leviathan than kill me. Still a pretty sweet combo. There we go, Sejuani Swain, looking good. You think Sejuani Swain is the best mid-range deck right now? Really? It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Yeah, it depends if you count, like, do you count, like, Demacia aggro? I don't know. We just, we did just beat the, the Demacia deck. Um, we had things work out really well for us, though. Yeah, Demacia's out there. I like uh, Twisted Fate Fizz myself, but I know that this could be, this is kind of a problematic matchup for the um, Twisted Fate. Okay, so you're, you're using Karma Maokai. Can you struggle with Sejuani Swain with Karma Maokai? I can see that. Yeah, there is a lot of reach and a lot of overwhelm. Overwhelm. Oh. Well. Looks like an interesting deck. Looks like an ephemeral kind of deck. I want to draw a one or a two drop, but I like this curve. Hopefully we draw a 1 or a 2 drop. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take that too. Those are two good draws so far. Eh, that one not so much. <laughs> Banson daily. the haunted relic a lot of tutus we got 
got a lot of damage coming right back. I guess I could just do this pre-combat. That's probably good. Let's do that pre-combat. The chains, they never stop! My turn. We got our champions and our Leviathan. So I like where we're at. Doesn't mean that we're it doesn't mean that we're definitely winning, but I, I like where we're at. I wanna go home. Interesting blocks. So that block they would block like that, and then if I try to save my... If I save my 3-1, it kills my wolf. No oh, crap. Alright, so yeah, so they're just going to glimpse beyond. Keep my 3-1 alive. Have it round start, kill my wolf. And 3-1. So we're gonna go into Elixir of Iron right now. Make sure my wolf stays alive. Alright, so we're at 3 for Sejuani, 15 for Swain. Let's play the Swain. Yeah, we played. Uh, we played a Timo Sejuani deck, also actually. Um, what I call it? Puff Cat Plunder. This was from a week ago. Check out that. That that deck was really cool, yeah, with with uh, Timo and and Sejuani. Okay, let's attack here. So I think I want to might this thing. Could have Will of Ionia. That'd be sad. Like, maybe this is just worse than playing Sejuani, and I should have just played Sejuani to begin with. I guess not, because they don't have... Yeah, they don't have Might. Or, like, they don't have Will of Ionia. Very game. Alright, so yeah, a real impressive showing here from Sejuani Swain. I liked the changes that we made. Real impressive showing you. Like, that was a very convincing 4-1 in Masters. This deck felt really strong. Um, you know, our only loss was to a, an amazing Heimerdinger draw where I also had no champions and no 8-drops. Like, I had, I had none of my top-end cards at all and they had just an amazing Heimerdinger draw and that was our only loss and we still got them down to a very low life total. Hey, Live De Devil. Oh, you had a rough hand. You had all three Hecarums. Oh, man, I'm sorry. GG's, though. GG's. But yeah, like, Noxion Fervor looked really good. I like, like that card in here. I um, think that was a good up upgrade. We didn't really do too much with Blade's Edge, but, you know, it's, it's fine just to have, like, the one mana card. And we didn't actually... Tusk Raider, but I do like having one Tusk Raider over the third Leviathan. Three Leviathan, three Swain, you can kind of run out of Swains also. So I like having a Tusk Raider to find Sejuani. But yeah, both both Swain and Sejuani were awesome. Wolf Rider was great. We were um, always turning on Plunder for Wolf Rider. It wasn't a problem. And we were getting that empty mana gem, which just gave us that extra mana to really get ahead of our opponents. So it was great. Um... 
And then Ruthless Raider plus Ember Maiden were really great in, in these games also. Really impressed with both of those cards. So yeah, pretty sweet deck here. Very strong uh, Sejuani Swain, if you're liking this kind of stuff. I recommend trying this this deck out. Like It's it's a fun one to play also. like Enjoyable deck, in my opinion. All right, that's Sejuani Swain. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. If you're trying the deck out yourself, let me know how it's going for you. But that's all I got here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.